Today, we're going to be giving the Google Pixel 7 Pro the protection it deserves with the Panzer Glass Antibacterial Glass Screen Protector. Here at Mobile Fun, we test and use a lot of different screen protectors. But one of my personal favorites has always been the Panzer Glass. So let's fit the Panzer Glass on our Pixel 7 Pro and see how easy it is. Okay, when you open the box, you'll find the screen protector and a cleaning kit. The kit contains a wipe, a microfiber cloth, and a dust removal sticker. The very first thing we need to do is turn off the device. We do this for two reasons. One, it's so we don't get any light disturbance while fitting the screen protector. And two, so we can actually make sure the screen is clean, smudge free, and has no dust present. As you may now have guessed, it's time to clean the phone screen. Taking your wet wipe, slowly and carefully clean your phone screen. You need to ensure that you remove all debris and grease here. Once you're satisfied that all grime is removed, take the microfiber cloth and gently dry and buff the screen. Do this until no fingerprints or smudges remain on the screen. The final part of the cleaning process, and the most satisfying to me, is removing any dust. Grab the dust sticker, remove its backing, and spend a little time gently dabbing away the screen to remove all dust that may be clinging to the screen. I have to say, this is another reason I love Panzer Glass screen protectors. Look at the size of this dust sticker. Now it's time for the installation, and this one is also nice and easy. Take the screen protector out of its compostable bag, and then remove the pull tab marked one back. Once this is off, you can carefully line the screen protector up with the phone screen. Once you're happy with the placement, go ahead and let it fall into place. Take a final moment to check you're happy with the way the screen protector is seated. Then apply a little pressure with your fingers. At this point, you may want to take your cloth again and give it a wipe all over so it makes perfect contact. Once you're happy, go ahead and pull the second tab to reveal the installed screen protector. Personally, I like to go over the install protector again with a microfiber cloth. Sometimes you'll need to do this anyway if you have any bubbles, but for me, I like to make sure I've got the perfect fit. If you do have any bubbles, slowly push them towards the edge, which will release them. The final thing you'll need to do now is switch the phone back on and reset your fingerprint. While you may find the fingerprint works fine, Doing this again helps make sure any small changes to the read are addressed. When we look at the screen protector, we can see it adds very little to the original footprint of the phone. It feels absolutely great to touch as well. I think the only thing to improve on this screen protector is the circle on the fingerprint reader, because when the screen is off, it is fairly noticeable. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on our future content. I've been Mark and I'll see you all very shortly.